Welcome to the latest in our series of mindsetting videos featuring friends of the firm, Steve Backley and Roger Backley. This week we're going to be covering solving problems and reflecting. So um, my first question is going to be to Steve. Steve, what was the biggest problem that you've had to overcome? Um, uh, the simple answer to that, Malcolm, very simple, is injury. As, a, as an athlete, you know, thinking about the sporting days and, you know, we very much very keen to use our experiences to, to work in business, but the you know the the, the obvious one is, is injury. Um, it stops you in your tracks. You often don't see it coming. You know your circumstances could go from you know you could be on top of the world literally to all of a sudden fall, fall flat on your face literally, <laughs> and your world comes crumbling down. Um, and and the, the unusual thing about you know, problem solving uh, in a sporting contest is that if you're not solving problems and firefighting, then you're not on the cutting edge. Um, you know, there's a, you know, we, Roger and I, we're in a sport where we were striving to be the best in the world. You know, it was a, it was a audacious in its, in its structure. So we, we had to feel as though we were pushing against that boundary. And if there wasn't a problem, then or something to solve, then you're not pushing hard enough, right? If, you know, if you're not completely exhausted, if you're not you know, facing injury, if not actually injured, but something's, you know, you're right on the cusp, right on the edge constantly. And you're, and you're very aware of that. But um, you know, the, the ability to then solve problems, be aware, first of all, that there's a, there's a problem. I think that's the first step in any problem solving is to have a keen awareness of, of where you are but having the ability to, to have a, a plan that kicks in and, and change direction or whatever it is, and, and again, being adaptable in, 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 being, you know, in your strategy, in your day-to-day -day process that accommodates new direction because of that awareness. So uh, a really important part, I think, of, of any successful uh, you know, plan is, is that redesigning and redelivering. Yeah, and Malcolm, you mentioned reflection. I think I look back over my athletic career, I mean, I was quite guilty sometimes of, you know, you just get busy, you know, you follow a program, you're, you're physically out there, you're in a routine. And, and, and I think as I got older, more experienced, I did a lot more reflection, recognizing there were lots of different ways to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Um, but Steve's right, you know, the biggest problem for any sports person is, is injury. I, I was thinking when you asked the question, I, I, Another problem that I had uh, or challenge was, um, was uh, finding new people to run with, new training partners. I was very lucky for most of my career, I trained with a guy called Chris Akadusi. You know, and we did everything together and we both had success together. But then he retired about four or five years before me. And I was, then who, who, you know, I can't replace him really. Um, and, I, and I had to go abroad, I had to find other people. And, and that was, that was a challenge, but I, I think the key with that was I recognized I couldn't do it on my own. I needed people around me. Uh, so I had a reference to what I needed and I had to find a solution to the problem of him retiring. Um, but I mean, I think business and sport, you, you've constantly got problems. You're constantly having to, 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 to manage problems. But I think taking that time out to reflect on, on the reality of the situation is probably very important as well. Brilliant. Um Obviously, we've got clients that are sort of all age ranges, really. And, um, you know, your, your careers, have obviously, um, as athletes are in the younger part of your career and as business people in, you know, in the, in the if I might say, it, the older part of your yeah. career. So do you think you get better at this stuff as you get older? Yeah, I think, I think experience, experience is, is a wonderful thing because it makes you realise that actually it will be okay, you will come through things and it will soon pass as we've mentioned um, previously. But uh, when, when you're young and you hit a problem, I think quite often the, your world implodes and you, and, you, and you think that's the end, you feel so fragile. I think as you're older, more experienced, um, you know, you know for in, in a business context, people who you know, lived through the previous recessions or previous, you know, um, you know, circumstances where things have you know imploded and i'm thinking you know, roger and i are in property nowadays and you know going back to the early 90s when we were first investing in property and what was going on back then as some of you may remember but it, you know at the time it was oh my goodness this it's the end this we're not going to continue and it's actually the people who push through in those times and keep an eye on where where we're going to end up 
um, begin with the end in mind, you know, people who are able to keep doing that through adversity are the ones who will ultimately thrive. And, and, and those who ask for help, you know, a problem hard to you know, have someone along your side, you know, Steve and I have always got each other on the end of the phone. We've got people like you, Malcolm, you know, if we've got questions, I mean, keep asking questions. You know, keep keep looking for support. Keep you know, if, if you've got a problem, share it. Share it because someone may not have the answer, but they'll they'll know somebody who might have the answer. So I think that's really important. Don't hold it to yourself. Don't hold that pro problem within and dwell on it. Get it out there. Share it because someone will want to help you, or someone will will, will maybe yeah, hopefully have a solution. Brilliant. Uh, that's that's really good advice. Thanks for that. Um, Next week, we're going to start on phase two of the videos, which are the four pillars of performance. And we're going to talk about the importance of self-awareness and knowing your own strengths.